Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Hudgens with Dodd RV, located in Yorktown, Virginia. Family owned and operated since 1956. Today, we're looking at a brand new 2023 Forest River Gray Wolf 26 BRB. Single slide out, private master bedroom up front, bunks in the back. You got an outside kitchen, electric jacks, juice pack, which has a solar panel. So a lot of nice features on this. Uh, let's get started. Take a look. You guys remember watch all the way to the end of the video i'll show you a clip with the slide in so you can see what you do and don't have access to when you're in travel remember give me a quick thumbs up hit the subscribe button hit that bell that'll give you a notification every time i put a new camper on so be the first one to see new floor plans options decors make sure you hit that bell check down in the description i have all your specs holding tank sizes and measurements remember if you're coming out to the lot to see this or any other camper in person make sure you ask for scott all right, standing at the entry door looking in, you got your slide out, opposing sitting area, which is nice. Entertainment space, bunks in the back, bathroom, second doorway, your master bedroom. That's where we'll start. You got a solid door that closes that off. Queen walk around bed, you got nice lights. Overhead storage has cabinet doors. Uh, I say that because a lot of the cabinets over the bed are just wide open. So storing stuff, it's exposed, it falls around. But it's just nice to have a door. Uh, you got hanging space, a little drop down area there. So good storage there. Receptacle, charging area here. This is also a dock for um, a portable light that would hook into that which would charge, you can purchase that in the parts department. Storage under the bed. Another charging area and receptacle. You got a fire escape window that opens. Got shades that close off. You do have a spot for a TV. Got more storage in here throughout, which is nice. Air ducts. Moving out into the living area again. Your convenience area, control your lights, your awning, check your holding tanks. You got LED accent lights or a nice night light up there. Spot for a TV uh, that comes with the other bracket. You hook to the TV, you can move it outside, you can put it in the bedroom, move it around. You got an electric fireplace that does put out heat. Nice, nice textured glass cabinets. Your driven uh, stereo system has USB HDMI hookups. And you got your built-in speakers and subwoofer throughout. Uh, your U-shaped dinette. It's in the eating position now, I guess you would say. It does drop down to make a bed. We'll take a look at that. All right, with the table down and the cushions on top, you got a nice sleeping area. You can remove these back cushions if you need a little bit more length for somebody a little taller. We'll gain a couple inches for you. But as for setting it up, I mean, you're basically just putting those cushions back. Again, this is the best way for it to travel in the down position. You do have, you hear the little Velcro tabs here. Um, that do kind of help hold it in place when you travel and then you can store these legs and the drawers under the bed uh, I wouldn't put them here while you travel because they will bounce around But it's that easy to set it back up into the bed You've got charging area Your shades are the zebra shades so you can let in some light you can black it out um, but easy to use roller shades there. Full pull out drawers. Again, conversation area you're sitting right across from somebody at the sofa. Storage underneath. Drops down to make a bed. So you got an extra sleeping area there. Large window, fire escape. And again, those zebra shades. 
your kitchen area. You got full pull-out drawers. Here are the brackets for the TVs. Flush mount cover over your sink, the black stainless sink. You got a little soap dispenser, nice extended spray head. More up top storage. A little spot for a trash can. A good size oven with LED light. Your flush cover acts as a splash guard. And you've also got the magnets that hold up your cutting board, which will go over the range, over your sink. You can take it outside. You got options there. Exhaust for your range does exhaust outside. Your microwave. Uh, the other part of your slide out, you've got the 12 volt refrigerator. So a nice large refrigerator freezer. Again, with the juice pack, you've got the solar panel on the roof. And that includes the battery tender, your battery disconnect here, fuse panel, your circuit breakers. Um, beside that refrigerator, you got a nice size pantry. So lots of space here in the pantry for storage. Another receptacle, your uh, thermostat built-in ladder get up on that top bunk uh, and as for the bunks nice large bunks there large curtain to close that area off and you got charging areas and lights uh, your bathroom huge sink uh, receptacles medicine cabinet a door from the outside to get in a little bit of storage there, nice space around the toilet, and your tub surround. Uh, my head goes right up into the skylight. I'm 6'5", so my head touches, uh, but you do have an exhaust fan in the bathroom. You also got heat ducts, and in the living area, another skylight that gives you some light. Your brand new 2023 Forest River Gray Wolf 26 BRB. We'll work our way outside. Take a look out there. Hey guys, before we head outside, remember if you're coming to the lot to see this or any other camper in person, make sure you ask for Scott. All right, moving to the outside, you see the nice front logo, power tongue jack, seven pin and chain holder built in. Two 20 pound LP bottles under cover. Comes with the battery and box. 26 BRB has a dry weight of 6,098 pounds. Backside of your hot water heater. Slide out. You got your cable connection. They're prepped for Solera slide toppers. Moving around to your connections here, you got the outside shower with hot and cold, 30 amp service, your water hookup, your sewer pull valves, a little storage area here under the bunks. Move around to the back on the bumper, they put a rack with the spare tire. That does drop down for extra storage. We'll take a look at that. All right, you got a pin on either side. I've already removed the other side. Remove this one, drop it down. We've got a locking pin here. Slides right in. And then obviously one for the other side. And then it's ready to haul any kind of gear, storage bins, bikes, something like that uh, on this rack. Got a 200 pound weight limit. And then remember, we've got the juice pack on this. We'll take a look at the roof as well. All right, up on the roof, you see your skylights, roof vent, top of your slide, TV antenna and your solar panel up front. Includes the backup camera already. And you've got the code to scan on the bottom and then inside so you can control that from your phone. 
Moving around to the campsite, you got two entry doors, both with that nice fiberglass uh, look doors. You've got your leash latch to hook the pets when you're at the campground, electric stabilizer jacks. Uh, you got the standard two step in the back and then we'll take a look at the step above steps up front. Got a black tank flush, full length power awning with LED lights, exhaust for your range, outside kitchen, you've got ice maker, outside shower, little refrigerator here, all underneath that awning. We are looking at 14 inch tires, do have a LP quick connect here, outside cable and TV hookup, outside speakers, nice large windows, large assist handle, we mentioned that step above steps. Steps fold right up in, they lock in place for travel, nice clean, no exposed frame. Got a screen door and your door is on a friction hinge so it stays where you leave it. Your main storage area is up front here, accessible from the inside. You've got your solar charge controller and uh, outside light. There's your power cord. Uh, this crank is for your power tongue jack on the front. Again, your controls up front here for your uh, front stabilizer jacks are in that box there. Your brand new 2023 Forest River Gray Wolf 26 BRB. Remember, if you're coming to the lot, you want to see this or any other camper in person, make sure you ask for Scott. All right, as promised with the slide in, you see it's a little tight in the living area, but you do still have full access to get into the refrigerator, freezer. You can squeeze through here, get in the bunk area, and you always got that second door if you're just trying to go to the bathroom and go that way. Um, but even with the slide in, you got full access to move around through here and still get in the bedroom with no problem.